how are you primary five today we will introduce unit three lesson five and six so we will talk about carnivals as you can see in this picture i have two pictures for different carnivals so first of all what do you know about carnivals try to think now okay so i'll tell you now carnivals it's a public festival usually one that happens at the same time every year it involves some music and dancing in the streets for which people wear brightly colorful clothes as you can see in these pictures okay so again what do you know about carnivals it's a public festival usually one that happens at the same time every year that involves the music and dancing in the streets for it people wear bright colorful clothes okay and now have you ever attended a carnival you have to tell me about your experience and now look at this picture and try to answer have you ever heard about rio carnival rio carnival what do you know about rio carnival you have to search about some information about rio carnival and i'll tell you some about it first of all this rio carnival it is the biggest carnival in the world second this carnival is in brazil Third, there are more than 2 million people on the streets every day during the carnival. So it's a very big carnival, as you can see. And also, they spend $4 million on the preparations of this carnival to be great, as you can see in this picture. Our lesson today is about a story that happened at a carnival, like this, exactly like the Rio Carnival, okay, with the name Lost at a Carnival. So our lesson is about Lost at the Carnival. First, I want to ask you, have you ever got lost in a crowded place? Crowded place mean a place full of people, like a big party or a carnival? You have to tell me what happened to you okay and now we will know what happened in our story but first let's know some new words okay i have the first word here it's dress up dress up here it's in the past but the normal is dress up okay what i mean by dress up may i say i'm going out so i will dress up or i'll give you another sentence saying there is no need to dress up come as you are so dress up guys it's mean to wear or to put on clothes but it means to wear clothes that is more formal than the clothes you wear so for example you wear special clothes for a party or for a car colorful clothes not like the clothes you wear for the school or for going out to walk with your parents for example so again dress up it's a verb and you have to remember that this verb come with the preposition with the preposition up so say dress up dress up mean to wear or to put on clothes but for in uh, for formal situation so this clothes is formal than that you usually wear in uh, in your daily life so it's you wear it may, maybe for a party maybe for a carnival something like this and the opposite of this dress is undress okay so dress up the opposite of it is undress okay so this is dress I have then this word buried, 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 buried guys it's a noun may say uh, yesterday I went to a nice fashion buried so miss what do you mean by this buried as you can see in this picture may I say I saw a beautiful buried of dancers in the carnival so this is a buried, buried it's a line as you can see guys it's a line 
it's a line of musicians people who play music and people in costumes maybe a line of dancers who walk through the street on a special day like in carnivals for example so again be read it's a line of dancers or musicians or people in costumes who walk through the streets on a special day like carnivals okay so this is a parade parade okay so let's move to another word i have here this word mask mask okay me say i wear a mask to hide my face so guys this is the mask as you can see in this picture me say i wear a mask in the party to hide my face okay so it's a something you wear on your face to hide it okay so it's a mask mask okay let's move to another one it's dancer dancer may I say she is a good dancer dancer guys it's a noun it is taken from the verb dance so this is dancer as you can see in this picture these girls are dancers okay so dancer I will give you another sentence for it saying I saw wonderful dancers in the current who wore colorful dresses so it means a person who can dance so this is dancer okay let's continue I have this word stellets 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 what I mean by stellets may say at the carnival there were people on stalets so what i mean by this these guys these these are the stalets so what i mean by this stalets two long two long stacks as you can see two long stacks that you stand on to make yourself very tall okay people in the carnivals uh, um, stay or stand on these stalets to look very tall okay so this is the stalets stalets okay so let's move to another word i have crowd 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 okay so crowd it's a noun in our lesson we will take it as a noun so i'll give you a sentence there was a crowd of people waiting outside the cinema there was a crowd of people waiting outside the cinema so miss what do you mean by crowd crowd is the big group of people who are in a place a big number of people who are in a place so uh, it's a noun here and also this crowd may take it as a verb mean to be with a large number of people in a place okay so this is crowd as a verb and as a noun okay so may you say a lot of people crowded to watch the accident so this means a lot of people came together to see the accident okay so this is crowd let's move to another word I'll, I'll show you first a picture okay so then I have float 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 it can come as a verb or as a noun but in our lesson it's a noun look at this picture it's a float guys so what I mean by float a float as you can see it's a lorry a large core a very big core with people with people on it people who uh, wear costumes maybe some musicians on it this float goes through the streets it means it's move all over the streets uh, during a parade or during a 
carnival so again i'll introduce a flute as a noun flute as a noun it means a lorry or a very big car with some people on it people who wear costumes people who who are musicians or who are dancers uh, this uh, flute move all over the streets uh, during carnivals okay so may may i say that this flute is like a stage like this guy it's like a stage but it's a stage that can move so it's a core so of course it can move so it's like the stage but it can move okay so i'll say a sentence for it he was on a flute with a lot of dancers on it okay I'll introduce it, it as a verb. As a verb, of course, you know it. May I say that uh, um, a sentence? Uh, the spot float on the water. The spot float on the water. So what I mean by it, I mean it's in the surface of the water. So float mean to be in, on the surface of water. Okay, so this is float like the boats, like the shabs these things okay so have you got a fluid let's move to microphone microphone of course it's a noun a noun i'll give you a sentence first saying she was holding a microphone while she was singing okay so of course you know the microphone like this microphone is something you hold in front of your mouth to make your voice louder so we use that to sing to make our voice come louder okay So this is microphone. Let's move to speakers, speakers, speakers. Okay, a speakers, it's taken from the verb speak, but here I have a speakers as noun. So what I mean by speaker, I'll give you, I'll show you your pic it's picture first. So these are the speakers. Okay, so what I mean by speakers, it's uh, may say a sentence, the voice came through all the speakers in the streets the voice came through all the speakers in the street so these speakers as you can see again in the picture they are special boxes they are special boxes that loud music comes out of so they are special boxes that loud music comes out of okay so so now guys let's know some new structure in our lesson today i have the first one dressed up as dressed up as so look at the sentence she was dressed up as a pop star i may say he was dressed up as a king so this is dress up as Okay, then I have pushes through, pushes through. He, uh, I have a sentence saying, he tried to push us through the crowd. Try to push us through, mean try to go through this crowd and enter through it. So this is pushes through. I have also look around, look around. May I say he looked around for his parents. So it means to look in all the directions, searching about maybe somebody or something. Okay, so this is look around. I have pick up, pick up, saying he picked up a microphone and said hello. So it means to hold it from the ground and say something in it so this is pick up i have come through come through me say that my voice came through all the speakers this means my voice came out of these speakers okay now guys let's know what happened in our lesson 
One day, Harry and Emily were at the carnival with their mom and dad. Emily was dressed up as a pop star, and Harry has a superhero costume. Harry and Emily loved the parade. They waved at the flutes and danced to music from the band, so they were very happy. When suddenly a crowd of dancers, suddenly a crowd of dancers and people on stilts came down the street. They moved between Harry and his family. Harry couldn't get away, so he moved down the streets with the dancers. Now he is away from his father and mother. He can't find them, so he got lost. Suddenly, Harry thought he saw a stage. He climbed onto it to look around his parents, but the stage started to move. So it was a float, not a stage, so it moved. He picked up a microphone and his voice came through the speakers, calling Mom, Dad, Emily. Then he saw them and ran to them. When, when he reached them, his father and mother asked him, Where is Emily? Where is Emily? He said, I don't know. I thought she was with you. So guys, now, where do you think uh, is Emily? What happened to Emily? This is what we, what will you prepare for the next session? Try to imagine what happened to Emily, his sister. Now, guys, let's practice some questions. I have the first one. Choose the correct answer. Number one, Harry had a superhero what with a long red hat he's a superhero so harry had a, a superhero costume this is the answer okay so let's move to the second one emily was dressed dressed what can you remember the preposition yeah it's dressed up as a pop store John tried to push. Can you remember the preposition? Yeah, it's push through. Push through. Have you ever? You have have. You ever. So you have to uh, get the third form of the verb worn. Have you ever worn a costume? No, never. Number five. The girl is dancing to the music from the from the of course from the band yeah thank you guys this is our practice now guys we have finished lesson five and six and let's move to know some new words in lesson seven i have the first one the word lepel lepel what i mean by it let's take a sentence saying a lepel on the costume said it's 100 pounds so lepel it's a piece of paper that is put on a product to give information about it maybe it tell me that uh, this uh, product with the surprise or tell me any information i want to know about this product maybe the product is a piece of clothes or anything you want to buy so this is lepel lepel okay so i have here another one it's sold 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 guys we will take it in our lesson as an adjective i'll give you a sentence saying this address is sold you can't buy it you can't buy it because it's sold so this is sold but also guys you know that sold is the second in the third form of the verb sell sell so i'll give you a sentence saying i have uh, i have sold my mobile phone to buy a new one so it can t it can be a verb like this the second and third of the verb sell or i can use it as an adjective okay so let's move to hug 
hug it's a verb so hug mean i'll give you a sentence i hug my mother every morning to prove that i really love her so this is hug so what i mean by hug as a verb it mean to put your arms around somebody to show that you really love him or her so this is hug if you want to get uh, the past form of hug you have to double G sound and then add ED. So hugged with two G and then ED. Now I have another word. It's take a place. Take a place. It's a verb. Take a place mean happen or occur. How much? Look at this sentence. This carnival will take place on Friday. I'll give you another sentence. This carnival will take place in a Brazil. So take a place mean happen or occur. Maybe in a place or in a specific time. So these our our words for lesson seven now let's know what happened in our lesson our lesson is about a boy called Liam the day before the carnival Liam loved a firefighter costume this is the firefighter costume but it was too late when he looked at it a label this is the label guys a label on the costume said sold so he can't buy it he was sad but he made his new costume but it wasn't as good as the costume in the shop but he made it the next morning, Liam woke up early. He looked at his bedroom door and saw the firefighter costume from the shop. It was his father and mother's surprise. They bought for him his costume that he liked. He was very excited and thanked them and hugged them. Okay, now guys, try to tell me, have you ever had a surprise? Yeah, tell me about what happened. Now guys, let's practice. Okay, I have the first one. The carnival takes takes what? Can you remember? Yeah, it takes place. Takes place every year in Cairo. The second one. The telephone was a very important important what? Invention. Invention. Can I say it's important invent? No, it is a verb now. But I want the noun invention. Okay, number three, monsters. You know monsters? Yeah, monsters are always scary, scary. If you look at them, you will be scared. So they are scary, mean you will be afraid of them. Number four, at what we can sing, dance, and play. Can we sing, dance, or play in classes? course no libraries no schools no but we can do this in carnivals carnivals when I get on the school bus I always what to my mom I always wave wave to my mom wave to my mom uh, this mean I wave my hands to say to her goodbye my mother now guys we have finished our lesson today about carnivals i want you to search about carnivals and what happened in uh, every carnival okay and tell me in the next session okay it's very exciting to search by yourself and if you want any help you can ask me thank you guys and see you later